Don't Bring a Wand to a Gunfight by Van Proud. Archive warnings include major character death. Additional tags. Badass motherfucker Lily Evans Potter. Lily is having none of your shit. Crack. Lily is a parcel mouth for reasons. Summary. Lily was a muggle first, and James was a genius at transfiguration. So the last line of defense is a little less magical and a little more muggle. Lily hurt his feet on the stairs, a faint creaking that drives tension up her spine like nothing else ever has. She took a deep breath and let it out ever so slowly in an attempt to calm her heartbeat. Harry was deathly quiet behind her, green eyes almost glowing in the darkness. You lost, little girl. He called out as he reached the top step and Lily's hands tightened reflexively around what she had cut between her palms. She didn't reply as her brain began to fade into the clear whiteness of instinct left unchecked. The stairs were ten steps away, and she heard every footfall as his boots struck wood. The doorknob turned ever so slowly, and she raised what she held in her hands as it did. He pushed the door open, the grin he wore melting into a look of utter shock as he sees what she's holding. The angry hiss that passed between his lips made her grin in satisfaction. Then, Lily very calmly pulled back the hammer of her gun and shot Voldemort in the chest five times at point-blank range. He hit the ground like a sack of potatoes, and Lily let out a sigh of relief as she lowered the gun with shaking hands. Harry made a little bleeping sound from behind her that made her giggle, and she peered down into his crib to make sure the noise-canceling earmuffs she put on him were still in place. They were, and Harry didn't appear to be in any sort of distress, so Lily left him to snuggle his stuffed wolf. She walked to stand over Voldemort, still breathing corpse, smiled down at him before hissing sweetly. I'm a mother first, you dick and shot him twice in the head. Carefully, she kicked his wand away from his hand and crushed it under the heel of her dragon hide boot. It cracked right down the center and it was the mixture of black foul smelling pus. She went back to standing guard over Harry's crib as he slept, nerves still thoroughly on, and when Severus fucking Snape came running up the stairs crying her name, she shot him in the head too. You have just finished listening to Don't Bring a Wand to a Gunfight by Van Prav. If you enjoyed the story, please leave them some feedback on archiveofourown.org slash work slash 16742137. And if you enjoyed my reading of the story, you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash just stay in bed.